we're really close to having an almost full vagrant setup, or at least understanding the individual benefits. We've covered the boxes, we've covered the providers, and we've covered the network settings. So how do we deal with this issue where right now I have to SSH into the box, navigate to the folder, and all contained inside this VM make changes? Like I want to be able to make that from the comfort of my editor. So what we're gonna do is in the same, in a similar, not the same, in a similar fashion, how we sync the ports to create this domain name so we can access it through the browser. We're gonna do the exact same thing kind of illustrated here for us to sync the folder and files on the server to a specific folder and files on our computer. Guest host, guest host, same thing. All right, so let's let's go ahead and do that by navigating to our vagrant file. And we're gonna create folder sync settings. Keep this clean and organized. I'm gonna copy and paste what they gave us. And we can actually delete this provider stuff. We already covered it. Uh, it's no longer necessary. And so, with this, we're looking at config VM synced folder where it's same format. Oh no, it's opposite. Uh, this is actually the where the files are on your host, hosts. And then this is where it is on your guest. So this is where it is on my computer or my laptop or my wherever I'm working from. And then this is my VM. So I want it to be here in the exact folder. Oh, I created this index.html file when I am a previous recording that I messed up. So I'm just going to delete these out. But I want my folder, this entire project folder, to be synced to var www. And that means this folder on my machine will now become this folder from my desktop. So let's run exit vagrant reload. And we'll let that process. And this index.html file is gonna get deleted because everything at var www is gonna be replaced with the folder in with the folder vagrant demo. So after this runs, I should see not index.html, but dot vagrant folder where all this stuff is that doesn't matter. And then also our vagrant file. So let's enter the box again. And look here, we have our at our var www Apache location, the index file is gone. So if I refresh here, we're actually being referenced to our vagrant file. And that's why we need to create an index.html file here. And we'll just say heading one, yo. Refresh over here and it works. This is now a really good local work, work environment. You can obviously see the benefits of being able to develop quickly from your, like a, just a normal folder on your computer, but having the benefits of it being mapped over to this virtual environment that we've created. Now, that was pretty easy. I want to cover a few other things about this. Mainly, there are an additional, there's like two things, like one, permissions, and then two, uh, kind of performance. So this is a little complex and for the sake of the scope of what we're going to be talking about, you can, instead of just doing the default, you can pass parameters to set permissions on the directory and the individual files. I find these permissions work best. So you can just copy and paste this and use this. If you are familiar with kind of file permissions and Linux and all that, you can mess with this yourself, but if you use these two, you should be in good shape. 
Um, so if I rent and ran reload, my file permissions would be a little bit different and it would be, I would just avoid any conflicts or anything like that. Next is performance where this is a little bit tricky. So the way it's synced right now is just using default vagrant shared folders or uh, virtual box folders is what it's called. However, there's this thing called NFS, which I think is native file system, network file system. And this is only on Macs. If you have Windows I, or it's ignored, I think it's also on Linux, but essentially it's just saying, instead of using default virtual mounting to link the two, use this network file system, which has better performance. So you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, it's just one of those additional settings. Remember, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that for ours, but I will do the correct permissions one and run Vagrant Reload. And that will complete this lesson for syncing files.